Let's now look at modules, layers, and models in TensorFlow. In this section, we'll have, I think, three or four videos. And here in this video, we'll cover how to create a simple module. And this is the reference in the TensorFlow guidebook. Now, what we'll do here is we'll go, uh, we'll go below the surface of Keras and look at how models are defined. And in machine learning with TensorFlow, you will be performing these three common tasks. One is to define a model, to save a model, and then restore a model. Now, a model is a function that computes something on the tensor. So this could be the coefficients. And some of the variables can be updated in response to training. So as the pro training process continues, some of the variables uh, the values in those variables will get updated and that's part of what model is so in tensorflow we can as you may have seen in keras models are built up or built with layers uh, so there is there would be one layer after that the second layer would get executed then the third layer and so on and so these layers uh, perform a specific mathematical function of uh, with the input from previous layer and then output the output of that layer is used by the subsequent layer as an input to perform another mathematical function and all these layers can use um, some trainable variables that will continually update the values within them and so uh, in Keras and Sonnet, these are the high-level implementations of la layers and models where we can simply line a, write a line of code and uh, all the computations uh, would be done for, would be done automatically by writing that line of code. And what we are going to look here is what's below that line of code and what it is, it is that both of these Keras and Sonnet, they use the same foundational class, tf.module. And in this video, we'll look at how we can create a simple module using tf.modules. And so modules by extension uh, layers also are deep learning terminology for objects. So let's see how TensorFlow collects variables and models and how they are saved and restored. So let's uh, get into Google Colab and what I'm going to do here is first import tensorflow. So import tensor uh, tensorflow as tf and then we'll write a simple module. So we'll start with a class simple module and we'll use tf.modules here tf.modules uh, module and Within this, we'll define the init, uh, which is going to be def underscore underscore init. And then we we'll have the self and name is equal to none. So this example is directly from the docs. And we'll define super. And this, what this will allow us to do is inherit the properties from tf.modules. So let's say name is equal to name and then we can define some attributes self dot a underscore trainable is equal to we'll create a variable tf dot variable and we'll give it a value of 5.0 and a name uh, let's say this is train me and after this we'll create another variable self dot a non trainable variable and for this, we'll again give us some value. Let's again give value of five. And we'll set trainable is equal to false. And again, give this a name. Name is equal to uh, non trainable variable. Okay. So once we have this, now what we can do is we can create another. Uh, method here df and we'll uh, give this name underscore underscore call so this method will co get called uh, automatically and here we'll define passing the argument self and uh, x 
that we'll use will pass after we ini we initialize uh, this class. So what we have then is we can return a calculated value, which would be self dot a underscore trainable uh, times x plus self dot a self dot non enable variable and with the typo here return okay so now we have this module ready and what we can do next is create a variable simple module and then initialize this simple module and then we can specify name is equal to simple and once we have that we can now pass in a value so simple underscore module let's pass in a value of five so we'll put that in tf dot constant so we are using tensorflow we are staying within inside of tensorflow and so when we run this what we get in the output is the added value so we have five our times 5 that's 25 plus 5 that is 30 and that's the value we get now what we can do is in addition to this we can print uh, what the variable what variables are there so let's say if you want to print uh, trainable where trainable variables what we can do is type simple underscore module dot trainable variables and this will give us the name of the trainable variable train me uh, with a value of 5.0 and we could similarly look at simple module dot variables and in this case then we get both trainable and non-trainable variables so we have train me as well as the non-trainable variable that we had uh, uh, that we had used here in inside of the simple module so that was it for this video we'll continue this discussion in the next video if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below thank you